Excellent. Um, so I brought over my snare basket, um, snare stand and basket. Um, quite an interesting mechanism, this. Uh, I haven't moved this. So this is the height I'm going to have my snare at. And I'm going to spread the, the tripod for the drum like so. Um, and then just place it on the ground here. Um, now this is a, a free flowing basket. Uh, I'm going to put the snare drum on now and um, then tighten up the snare. Before I put the snare drum on, I'm just going to show you this big screw, this big uh, nut is actually what tightens up the basket. And so we can go tighter and that holds the drum in place just by bringing that up. Basically the screw, as the screw rises up, the basket gets smaller. So what we have here is a 14 inch diameter snare drum by a six and a half inch depth, uh, which has a throw off mechanism and you can adjust the snare uh, strainer to give a different tone. That's a wee bit of hardware. Um, I like to have the, the adjuster, the switch, the throw off, it's called actually, the throw off. I like to have the throw off just in front of me um, so that I can adjust it while I play. Uh, and as I said earlier, if you can come in closer, uh, you'll see this adjuster coming into place. So. You just lift a wee bit of the weight off the snare without moving out of position, and that's it. And then you should be able to lift the drum. Again, you don't want it too tight. Um, there's probably drummers that don't even have it as tight as that, uh, simply because it actually has an effect on the tone of the drum being in the basket. So if you can imagine the drum resonating when it gets hit, uh, and there's three points on this, squeezing the drum, and what it does is it actually reduces that resonance and changes the tone very slightly. So you can actually play with it just resting in the basket, or you can have the basket holding the drum firm. I like it to be held firm. I'm going to mount the, the tom, the first tom. Uh, now again, if we look on here, this is a memory collar that's in place, and that sits right there, and the wing nut. Now, what I've noticed straight away is my snare drum is sitting too close to the kit. So I'm just gonna move that out of the way and bring the, the tom into place. So that's a 12 inch tom. We then go ahead and do the, the same with the 13 inch. Now, if I wanted to adjust the height, I can bring the whole post up and down, or the individual position of the drums. We can either move this uh, ball and socket, or we can adjust the height of the individual drum right here. Once you've made adjustments, make sure that the nuts are tight. So what we've got here is we've got a floor tom and a floor tom legs. Um, again, these floor tom legs are uh, quite a thick gauge. So they're kind of reeking of quality and, and that kind of heavyweight feel that, uh, that we like as drummers, especially when you've been playing for a long time, like moi. Um, setting up the drums, I need to focus on the drum, the end of the drum. Setting up the drums, quite often we like the badge to be facing out to our audience. So um, in this case, I've put <coughs> the middle one as my kind of furthest away. Uh, and again, what we've got here is a memory collar. Uh, sometimes you get these on, drum, on drums, sometimes you don't on the, 
the floor tom legs. It's really handy, and this system I find excellent because it just seems to give the, the drum just a bit more stability as the memory column locks in to the bracket. And there we go, we lock it up. Now, another seems kind of simple, but I've actually seen people putting the legs in like that with uh, the foot facing in the way. Um, again, I'm not going to say it's right or wrong, but the reality is that when the leg faces out, you've just got more stability. Now you might want to face it in the way if you were kind of leaning against another drum. Um, some setups have a second uh, floor tom right next to it. But again, checking your wing nut tight. Uh, this memory collar, as you can see, has got a standard drum key uh, screw on it. And then move it into place uh, and then we'll see how that feels in a wee while.